This is one of the friendlier, friendlier matchups for Bowser Jr. in the first place due to some of the disjoints being manageable for Bowser Jr. and the fact that he can weave in and out of some of these combos. Right. Here we go, starting on Stadium. And here we go, the Bowser Jr. versus the Wolf, game one. Let's roll. Mater, of course, looking to start this potentially with an up air string. We'll have to see if he goes for that or with a quick Mecha Koopa. I mean, you know he's looking for it. And there we go. I mean, but that was an amazing smash the eye from K9's part. You just saw him go straight horizontal to be like, okay, you got two on me. That's the only two you're going to get. Yeah, if that DI isn't perfect, it's possible to get four or five in a row. So excellent work to escape after just two. You know, Akinator just kind of mixing up his movement, you know, and he's just making K9 guess every time he's going to approach and just not going to be able to find it. Very liberal use of the clown card to begin this. He has a Mecha Koopa in hand. You know what? Tainan Air is just like, okay, he's prepared for me to throw it, so I'm just going to hold on to it and just see what he does. Oh my, that was such a bold move from Tainan Air. The one will get up into that, but quick up smash out of shield will punish that aggression. Yeah, at frame six, it is Bowser Jr.'s fastest out of shield option, and a long range snipe with the Mecha Koopa is going to be the first dock on from Canines. There you go, but ooh, that Nair beating out the clown cart. You know, he tried up smashing that, but you know what? The back hit of the up B, you know, when he has the wand, it's, people really underestimate that move because they feel like, oh, I only have to worry about the swing. But that swing, it becomes active the second he, like, pulls it out and he starts it on the back end. So it's a lot quicker than most people give it credit for. And not only is the hammer swing fast, it has a larger hitbox than the animation might suggest as well. So you really have to be careful on both sides. And the fact that, like, it's a kill option, too, you know, it just does so much damage. The Fortale not going to be able to quite take out the stock just because Bowser Jr. is one of the heavier characters in the game. But, ooh, that was a really bold up there, up tilt right there. Just to kind of be like, okay, you're trying to land on me, up tilt, just stands here. Just as he escapes the clown card as well, runs right into the back throw from Canines. It's going to be that first stock gone, but at what cost? Already 78% in the red. You know, Tainanator is just like, okay, you know, I see you waiting for me. I'm just going to sit here in center stage. But, you know, he threw out that forward smash and thought he could bait out something, but did not respect Wolf's aggression, and he died. He died off of one combo right there. K9 is on a tear. What an amazing extension with a fair bear, as well as that quick dash grab out of the first fair at zero, but he's going to beat that flash at zero. You know, K9 just standing in shield, and you know he was hoping this, that K9 would stay in shield so he could break the shield right there. But you know what? Not going to be able to do so. And K9 just be like, okay, now, now that I know that you're approaching me, I can actually start playing my game now. Goes fourth one air as well, and in position perfectly to get the grab afterward. Jumps over that back air though. Again, up smash out of shield. Just not going to be able to find it. Forward smash. Kind of safe on shield just because of the lack of uh, end lag. But you know what? The down air not going to go deep enough for the Gimp. Working with the fair, but jumps right into the S-Mash too. Tater has to be careful because that back air is lingering and it is aiming straight for his face. K9's Bruce with a violent two stock to begin this. You know, you saw at the beginning of the match, you know, Tater Nader kind of had the pacing. But you know what? That whole second stock was K9's answer be like, okay, here's what I need to do, and here's the plan in my head, let's execute it. And the second he executed it, just kept Tainanator in disadvantage, called out the jumps, called out the defensive options, and managed to just get a super early kill, and at that point, all the momentum was on his side. And in that second stock as well, the fair to down throw dash attack, as well as the other combo that ended with Fair Bear. Those are actually two separate combos. The way he was able to transition from one into another was seamless. He put himself well after the first one, read the DI perfectly on the fly while still executing the first combo and got his reward directly afterwards. And I love that, using the clown card to kind of just cover the all the tech options. Jab at ledge, not gonna be able to kill, but no, it sends him in a really poor position just rub up against the side of the stage with the Firewolf to delay his recovery a tiny bit. Ooh, 
try reading the roll, but you know what? Not gonna find it. He needs a combo out of himself. Well, that second half's not gonna come out, though. Interrupted by the strong Nair. And again, that landing Nair is just such a good option for K9. Here we go. Quick clown card just to get him off stage, but you know what? Not gonna be enough. There. This is the two frame with the F tilt, but immediately afterwards rectifies it with the up smash. And again, that's what you see from K9. I know you'd be like, okay, a lot of Bowser Juniors, they like the clown card from ledge, and so he just kind of just scooped it up with the up smash. Yeah, Junior isn't the only one with an up smash out of shield in this matchup. At frame 13, it's not the quickest, but Katernator is going to answer with one of his own. Right. And even stocks, no, even percents. This is going to be. A little bit of a, a, a battle for both players to see like who can get this you know, second stock first. Gator is fishing for the start of an up air string. And again, Gatorator just kind of sitting back waiting for K9 to just let himself open up. He's not going to be able to find it because he gets grabbed, or because he avoids the grab, but. You know what, now we see K9 just holding center stage and just keeping Tatanator in the corner, not letting him get any momentum. Barely avoids pineappling himself, but how does he get up from the ledge? That back air is just such a threat to any get up if he takes the wrong option. And that F smash is a threat no matter where you are on the stage. Yeah, we just see K9 just content with you know, keeping center stage and just not approaching the matchup really. He feels that tilt, gets the grab afterward. You see, you know, oh, no, he's, he's dead, yeah. Yeah. The weak hit was just enough to, you know, catch him. And not only that, just input it in air dodge by mistake. I think he wanted just a quick roll, but that buffer system is going to come back to haunt him. Right. And Taterinator is going to fall 2-0 to K9s as we move on to winter semis. All right. So now we have K9 versus Rhino Dude. This will be an interesting one for sure. Rhino Dude making.